Kamaru Usman takes on Gilbert Burns in the main title fight at UFC 258. And my, 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 what is to say about this particular fight? We're going to go through a bit of an analysis, a bit of a fight preview. But before we begin, guys, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Your support is duly noted and appreciated. Look, if you've heard anything about this fight, you know, and it, and this is this you know point has been labored by the media time and time again that these are two individuals that were training partners that have trained before and have you know obviously in that particular regard an extensive and extensive experience with each other and should really make for a really interesting fight if you think of two training partners that have you know grown up together and understand each other's moves and skill sets so if you were to take that away i think essentially this is an interesting fight because from a stylistic perspective you've got two grapplers grappling in different arts albeit kamaru usman you know a collegiate wrestler and gilbert burns uh, you know an elite level black belt i'm not even sure what level of black belt he is but we know that in jujitsu gilbert burns is almost if not as good as it gets especially from an mma perspective so look from a grappling credential perspective these guys both weigh in really really well and i think look it's gonna be an interesting fight because you'd think you know when you know you're ticking off all attributes and all aspects of the fight from a striking perspective it's it's really interesting to say but you know you'd say that gilbert has the more dynamics of strike the you know the the finish against damian maya being one that pops to mind kamaro usman is relatively rudimentary in terms of his striking but there's no doubt that what comes behind that is insane levels of power you can just see in the man he's a he, he's a man mountain um so and, and he uses that to great effect again the colby covington fight really really uh you know showed us that ability for kamaru to really dig in deep and 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 get that dog and i think it's really interesting when you you zoom out and, and have a, a listen to both these individuals, especially when it comes to the you know the press conferences, and Kamaru is maintaining this you know chain of thought where it's up to his opponent to come to him to make him bring out that dog or that sort of performance that we're after, and I think that's a really sort of interesting point. And I think another point is there's no there is absolutely no uh, fluke. That Kamaru Usman is is undefeated in the sense of there are a lot of fighters that as they go up the ranks towards you know a championship fight their their fighting styles evolve to get there you know you go to those three round fights to those five round fights the interesting thing is Kamaru Usman's style is made for five round fights it's grueling it's taxing Yes, is it aesthetically the most beautiful thing to watch from an MMA perspective? You know, I'll let you be the judge. If you like MMA wrestling, maybe it is. And, you know, as an individual that's, you know, recently got into jiu-jitsu and, you know, understanding a little bit of the grappling game, I can certainly appreciate it. I can also certainly really appreciate a finely tuned, tuned overhand right. So, you know, there there is that natural disposition. Now, going back to the particular fight, I think it's really interesting because, again, if this goes to the later rounds, and you could say that this is a very simplistic analysis, I really do think it Kamaru Usman's chances infinitely rise, and especially if it goes, you know, past the third round, because he's just built for the grueling, taxing, grappling heavily style, foot stomping. Yes, you heard me, foot stomping. I know you only have to go to the internet to look at a Kamaru Usman interview or even any interview about UFC 258. To see, you know, the trolls come out in droves talking about Kamara Usman's foot. It's effective, guys. It's absolutely effective. So say what you want. They're all damaging. It all, you know, accounts up there. But really, uh, Gilbert Burns presents a very unique challenge. Apart from the fact that he's, you know, uh, trained with him. Uh, Kamaru cannot be very lackadaisical when it comes to either, you know, the grappling exchanges and really, whereas in a lot of fights, you know, the Jorge Masvidal being one, he was quite trigger happy to take the individual, you know, Jorge to the ground and control him there. There is, you know, that level of tension that he's going to feel because Gilbert Burns, you know, it's interesting. I've, I've been going through a fair amount of Gilbert Burns jiu-jitsu fights just to see if he's an individual that likes, you know, top control. And, and, and I think he does prefer the top. 
uh, he, he he does prefer the passing game, but there's no doubt that he's got a very active guard. He scrambles very well, and yeah, it's 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 really interesting. You know, one one does think that Kamaru's best option is to take Gilbert to the ground because, from a striking perspective, I think Gilbert. You know, power. You could maybe say that they equalize, but from a dy- dynamism perspective, Gilbert. You know, again, it's very odd to say this about a jiu-jitsu pr- practitioner, but he has really dynamic strikes coming from very different angles, quite, you know, quite sharp in that particular regard and definitely sharper than Kamaru there. And and the interesting thing is Kamaru in his fight against Colby Covington was getting touched. He was getting touched quite frequently on the chin. And he, you know, while he may not have, uh, you know, taken Colby to the ground because of potentially the, the wrestling credentials of Colby or Potentially, he just got caught up, caught up in the striking exchange. Because while Colby was touching him, Colby does not possess the power that Gilbert Burns has, and I think that Kamaru will respect that. And how? What does that respect turn? To, you know, turn to. Is he willing to to take him to the ground? Is he w- willing to you know maintain a fair amount of ride time? You know, you know, a bit of side control. Is he willing to even mount Burns? You know, or or is you know one would think. You know, heavy clinching would be the way to go to to taking him against the cage, really drain Gilbert Burns out. But yeah, it, it it's a it's a really complicated one and one that is really um quite unique to have you know two high level grapplers from, grapplers rather from two you know grappling uh you know disciplines fight. So as for the fight prediction, look, I I think when all is said and done. It's a really tough one, but it's just so hard for me to go past Kamaru. And this would be much easier if this was, you know, a striker. And I think Gilbert Burns will be his toughest um, toughest fight to date. And the other thing is, I just don't see Kamaru tapping. I, I just don't. You know, I could be wrong. Uh, maybe I'm overestimating the pride element, but there seems to have been animosity is not the word that I'm going to use some level of tension uh, between the divorce that, you know, Kamaru had at Stanford MMA. Uh, And I just think that, you know, you know, coupled with the fact that he's got, you know, a gas tank for days, he takes damage relatively well, his fighting style is grueling. And no matter how good you are with jiu-jitsu, if you have someone that can, you know, that's physically imposing and that can, you know, really control the positions from the top, which is, you know, the game, the power game that Kamaru possesses, there is no doubt that that is a, it's an amazing advantage. And there's, there is, you know, there is a reason that people say that wrestling is the best place for jiu-jitsu. Sorry, for MMA, mixed martial arts. Uh, and so really, I see Kamaru grinding this out over five rounds. I see it being back and forth. I actually see Gilbert rocking Kamaru a couple of times. Um, but I see this being, you know, a very heavy clinch fight uh, i see this being a battle for position I, see, I foresee a lot of scrambles but at the end of it i see kamara usman having his hand raised in a really hard fought battle and this this i'm excited i'm really excited what do you guys think do you think burns has what it takes to to upset kamaru or does the the kamara usman trail train rather roll through let us know leave some comments below guys give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and you know we hope to hear from you soon